It must be kind of weird seeing the house you grew up in for the first time. Do you recognize anything? I mean, the, the house or the, the cows, the tractor, anything? You sure this is where I live? Yeah. I, um, you spend most of your time over there. In a barn. Well, normal was never really your style, Clark. <laughs> well, that was my attempt at humor. <laughs> Sometimes I crash and burn, sorry. Clark, it's your house. Right. I, it was, it was stuck. Actually, I think it was locked. You know, I tried to open it. Yeah, and, and then, then some freak wind came and just blew it right off. Right. So, Lois, do you know where the Kents are? They're in Metropolis for Mr. Kent's heart exam. Clark, you know that. Well, not so much. He has amnesia, and he's having a hard time. Again? What do you mean, again? Well, at least this time you got clothes on. Lois. We need to get his parents back home. Well, that's going to be a little hard. Mr. Kent has a one-way ticket on the Ambient Express. He's going to be out of commission for a couple of days. So, what happened? Well, the last thing I remember, I woke up in the alley. I was with... Uh... Chloe. I'm thinking he caught up to whoever was behind the robbery in plain sight incident. And what, we have a thief with memory repo? I guess that could explain why in some weird Smallvillian way I zoned out eight coffee orders before I found the till was empty. I'm gonna go to the torch and see what I can find out about amnesia. Yeah, just leave Mr. Memory Reboot to me. I'm getting to be a pro at this. But you know what? You're gonna have to put up with PB&J because that's the extent of my culinary skills. Okay? Duh, please tell me I'm not related to her. No, I am. You live with her. Clark! Uh... <laughs> You know what? I'm gonna take him up to the barn, see if anything up there jogs his memory. All right, suit yourself. We need to talk. <laughs> <laughs> 